Sometimes I get a VersaFueler returned to me. The customer says it doesn't work in his car. And so I test it on my test bench here. Uh, Dan, you might recognize your VersaFueler with the uh, little grooves in it here. Uh, this is a switch that lets me select the eight inputs and eight outputs independently. This power supply is supplying the VersaFueler. This power supply is supplying the injector. I've got an oscilloscope here that is measuring the input signal to the VersaFueler and the output signal to the VersaFueler. The input signal is coming from this black box here, a signal generator that lets me simulate different RPMs. Uh, you see the pulses getting closer together, closer together, faster, faster, faster. So we're revving up the engine here and slowing the engine back down. I can also simulate different pulse uh, duty cycles. You see the, uh, the on time of the injector is the low part of the pulse here and the off time is the high part of the pulse. Uh, so you see that this is a very low duty cycle uh, currently like uh, you might see it in idle and if I change this knob I can turn it into a very long duty cycle. You know this is what you might see at wide open throttle. This is probably about 80 percent duty cycle. Uh, so let's just throttle it back here a little bit and uh, let's see if this VersaFueler works. Turn on my current probe. This probe measures the current going to the fuel injector. Uh, what you see here is when the computer commands the injector to open, it grounds the input. You see the injector current rise quickly to the peak value of 4 amps and then drop back to the hold value of 1 amp. Uh, one of the features of the VersaFueler is that uh, it will drop the uh, injector current down to 1 amp even if the injector never reaches 4 amps. You can see that happen if I decrease the injector drive voltage. Now you, you see the change in the width here. What's happening is the VersaFueler, the, the injector current is not reaching 4 amps, but the VersaFueler is cutting the hold current down to 1 amp anyway. Uh, people ask me sometimes uh, how tolerant is the VersaFueler of different voltages, battery voltages. Here I'm at 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, I think we'll see it go sour. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe it just keeps running. Very tolerant of different operating voltages. Um, if you don't think I'm really running the VersaFueler with this power supply, I'll turn it off. Turn it back on. Um, you can see the effect uh, of, on the VersaFueler output if I rev the engine up. If I change the duty cycle, we've got a, a, a pretty long pulse width here. Let's change it to a shorter pulse. Now you can see we have a very short pulse, uh, probably about what you'd see at idle. Let's put it back to a long pulse. And uh, so that's one of the eight channels. Let's switch through uh, the other seven channels. That one works. 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 And that one works, and I think we're out of channels. Yep, out of channels. So, one, two, three, four, four sorry about that, five, six, seven, 
8. All eight channels work on this box exactly the way they're supposed to be. The VersaFueler is working fine. It is tolerant of different voltages, 15 down to 6, and it just keeps working fine. Uh, this is what they're supposed to do. This one is working exactly as it should, so I'm going to send it back.